I hope that you all enjoy this video of how we help a horse that has developed a bolting problem. Uh, we're going to show you some things to look out for, um, how to kind of desensitize them, how to help them not be claustrophobic about things, to be sensitive to that halter, and what to watch out for right before they do it. Uh, plus a really, really cool technique um, to help you get a horse and teach them to stop. Uh, when they are loose that have has a history of a bolting problem. Um, and then the goal is to get them to want to be with you and be willing and soft and lead well, just like this guy is here now. Hope you enjoy. We hear how, what is the reaction when I touch with something? So we have this young Mustang in for a restart. Uh, he had some groundwork done. He had, I think he'd been tip trained and um, he's from Chork Cherry, Utah. And you can see he's just really kind of, and this is week two, so it was much worse the first week, but he's really kind of anxious and worried and he wants to bolt off. He's already had our um, some lessons in getting being softer to the halter. And then now this is the next stage uh, in helping a bolter is you don't wanna hold them. So Asidro has him on a really, really loose line here um, and then he's going to get his feet moving. So you see how he was kind of locked up there and shaking. Now he's going to move him for a little bit. So interdispersing movement and moving forward with uh, also like desensitizing him on a loose lead rope is our goal in this session. So that's what you're going to watch here. He's going to lunge him for a little bit. Then he's going to stop and do some more of the desensitizing. And so we'll just skip over this part and go to the next thing. Okay, so Sidro had lunch in both directions for a little bit. Let him kind of um, move his legs around. And you can see he's looking and chewing here and looking at him. Um, he's had a chance to kind of work out a little bit of that built-up anxiety. And now this is what we're talking about. See how he's approaching him? This horse wants to bolt off so bad. The progress is that he is not full out bolting. Um, and you can see Sidro just doesn't walk right up to him. Do you see what he did? He disengaged him here, and then he walks up to him. So what he's teaching him is every time this horse wants to bolt off, that he's going to start creating a habit of the horse disengaging um, and facing up to him. I'm here, I know it's for giving the face. I, wa I want to stay right here. But in case he wanted to get off, I push it back, give me the face again. But right now, I want to touch him. I want to hear the laxing. You see right there how he moves. Oh, he wanna move? Okay, let's go move. Let's go move. Let's go move. Okay, he tried right there, he tried to stop. For now, what I work in hand, I wanna he feel calm for everything I do. I know as for disengage a lot, make it tired. No, I wanna I wanna I want to touch him. I want to he stay right there, like relaxing. I want to he like, like checking or what he do. You see everything, and when I touch him, like crunch. Everything. So Cedro's acknowledging that this horse needs to move. He's worried. He needs to move. He's giving him a different outlet in that movement by teaching him that he can move, but he's going to disengage in his movement. That's the movement that he's allowed to do. Uh, and that prevents that bolting off where you can't hold on to them. Uh, but we're still acknowledging that the horse needs to move um, for his uh, mental well-being and the fact that um, he's not able to control his anxiety and his worry um, about whatever's happening. But we give him an outlet by giving him an option of how he can move that's acceptable to us um, so that we don't, we keep him out of trouble and um, we are able to get this horse to still communicate with us that he's really worried and he feels the need to move and we can acknowledge that. If we don't give him a safe option to move, then what they end up doing is they learn to freeze and then they explode and that gets really, really dangerous. Uh, so we're just giving him a safer option of communicating and being able to move, which really helps tremendously with horses' anxiety, uh, that they can get those feet unlocked. He, he can run if he wants, he wanted to get out, he, he can do it. But as I say, and I said, every time they want to get out, bring back again. 
So right here, you can so the horse went, uh, center went over the horse's threshold and he bolted off. Um, because of the work we've done with softening him to the halter, he was able to um, not let him completely bolt off. And then here, what he's going to do is he's going to teach him um, a technique that um, bolting off um, is not the answer. He's throwing this rope over him. And when you do this, when he throws this rope over him, this long rope repeatedly, when this horse is loose and he bolts off, he will learn to stop when you throw a rope over him. Uh, so if you were to rope him or you just throw a rope over him, if they're loose out in the pasture or they're somewhere um, even in the in the round pen and he didn't want to be caught instead of chasing him around, if you're able to throw a rope over him and they've been conditioned to stop when that rope hits them, it is such a useful tool to use later on. And you can see this is just how a Citero has, uh, how he brings about teaching this technique and he does it every day. Um, for a while until the animal learns that the minute that rope is thrown at them, they stop. And this is so useful when you are starting horse under saddle for them to not be afraid of ropes being thrown at them. Uh, and so we really, really do this with every horse if we can um, to teach them to not be afraid of ropes being thrown at them and to stop when a rope gets thrown over them. Uh, very, very handy, useful technique. Highly recommend. When he throws everything around people, so people start jumping, start doing that stuff. He has noise somewhere, but they need what's, what is in the present closer to the horses. All this stuff you see right there. Come again. You see how he's shaking. All this noise. Right there, more better. Right here, all this feeling they go away. Because you try to ride a horse like this, how there is, they give it really big horse. Same right there. Right here, I know when he start like moving, everything I do. No, put it face to me. Put it face to me. Okay, stay right there. This is the other thing. No let the, the horse start blocking your side. Okay, you see? What I try to do, put the, the nose to me, no let me go this side. So when, I, when I push away with my cold, my, I don't know how I call it, um, oh. This is another way to break up. Um, desensitizing with movement is you can practice your leading. Um, you see he's getting a little softer the halter there. Uh, you shouldn't have to be pulling on them really hard. If you do that, strongly suggest disengaging them or sending them on. And then now he's going to go back to his desensitizing. So inter interdispersing, desensitizing with movement is very important to prevent shutdown and to prevent these horses locking up and freezing. Uh, so highly, highly encourage that you desensitize using that technique. Throwing like tie, like shaking. This is how you say, you see right there the bullet. And you can see how much this horse has improved in just this session about his worry about us approaching him and being touched. Really, really happy with his progress, even in just this one session. If you would like to see the full video of how Isidro achieved uh, being able to get this horse to be so much more relaxed, leading nicely, not thinking about bolting, we have our bolting series on our Perpetual Training Toolbox. You can get there by going to www.isidroespinosahorsemanship.com and selecting the Perpetual Training Toolbox. Hope to see you there.